Channels come and go, right? And so you hear about these growth hacks, and that's why growth hacking is not a set of tactics, it's a mindset. Because so much stuff changes, right? Like everyone knows that the Dropbox free space hack was a great idea, but then everyone did it. And that's, you know, so now it doesn't work. And that's how um, all growth hacks go, is that there's a small window of opportunity where there's a ton of value that can be created, and then, um, best practice marketers flood in, saturate the space, the novelty uh, goes away and the growth hack effectively closes up. Or um, a platform has an opportunity and then um, that platform changes the rules and it goes away. So um, you can't really, it's kind of hard to see here, but these are all sorts of like different viral channels and they come and they go, right? Like in the early 2000s, word of mouth was a really great, you know, it was novel, right? So people would forward emails onto one another about, hey, you have to check this out, and it was great for virality. And then email around 2000, you know, starts to get really popular with like Hotmail put on the bottom, PS, I love you, get your free email at hotmail.com, and they got millions of users that way. MySpace was really popular, and that's how YouTube launched, right? They're the ones that came up with the embed code to put on your MySpace profile. You know what happened there? Craigslist, this was Airbnb, and then they closed the API off. This is Facebook, this is Open Graph, companies like Viddy and Branch Out, and then they changed the rules. It's still a pretty good channel, but then, you know, iOS, Android, Twitter. So, all of that to say that um, channels come and go, and um, that hacks come and go, but I think when, looking forward, um, I think the, the big opportunities are um, uh, any new channel that comes along is going to be an op.